Each year, there's about 15 million acres of forest that are turned into wood products. There's been 300 million acres that have been deforested since the 1990s. That same 300 million acres at current planting rates would cost $100 billion to replant. The reason that we started this business is to make a dent in carbon emissions. And trees far and away are our best source to do that. There are no machines currently that humans have that can do that better and more efficiently. We think that robotics is the way to make reforestation truly scalable. Our end objective is using drones to plant tree seeds. We are paid per acre to plant tree seeds, spray to protect them, and then monitor their growth. This is a big drone. We call it Big Boy. <laughs> so we have one drone, eight feet right here, uh, three gallons payload. Imagine 15 of those on this road right here. That's how we see us able to address a large forestry unit, both for spraying as well as planting in the future. It's a high-powered paintball gun, essentially. It's pressure, air pressure pneumatics firing a tree seed capsule into the ground. Right now, forestry companies, they spend millions recruiting the labor to go out there and plant trees. Good tree planter can replant somewhere between 800 trees a day, which is about two acres. One person with 15 drones could do the equivalent of 360 manual labor hours of tree planting or spraying in a day. We use a seed, so there's no nursery, there's no need for a refrigerated supply chain, and it's not an issue for us to put 80 to 200 different species into the hopper and then spray them all over the ground. It is a step function, it's disruptive technology. We are already in beta as far as a software platform that allows one operator to manage 15 drones simultaneously. And then that takes us into a whole game changer as far as the economics of reforestation, which is what we're super excited about. Drone Seed is the most important company working today in carbon sequestration through forestry. Do you believe that, that CO2 is changing the global climate? If you do, then carbon sequestration has to be a part of the global climate solution. If you have an automation company that makes it orders of magnitude less expensive to plant and grow trees, that's going to be part of the global carbon sequestration solution. It has to be. So that's, I think, the, the big idea for Drone Seed is could they be a foundational player in driving down the cost of saving the climate? Replanting 300 million acres that's been deforested since 1990, that is a major step forward in reducing carbon emissions. What you can envision for the future is that one operator managing 15 drones, replanting post wildfire or take it globally, there's been a lot of slash and burn agriculture. So how do you then go out and replant those in a cost effective way? And that's where our technology comes in. At Drone Seed, we're trying not to lose the forest for the trees. Basically, like, I've got time on this planet, and I want to work on a problem that's worth solving. And to me, it absolutely makes sense to go out there and focus on the biggest thing that's threatening humanity. If the environment's not working, no social, political, or economic system is working. So that's why it's so important to get in there and plant. This is a seed. Inside is a natural intelligence that can help us fight the climate crisis. With soil, this seed will turn into a carbon-eating machine called a tree. Each tree can absorb over a ton of carbon in its lifetime. But with so much carbon being released today, we need trees now more than ever. So every forest is like a living, breathing carbon storage system. More carbon locked in forests means less CO2 in the atmosphere. I'm Lot Amoros, and I would like to show you how the technology could help modern nature fight the climate crisis. For the last five years, we have been building tools for large-scale, low-cost reforestation. We started with a drone. After many designs and some crashes, The latest version can distribute half a million seats per flight. Can show trees on autopilot. And soon we'll use algorithms to select the best locations to make every seed a winner. 
The hardware and software are open source, so with a bit of know-how, you can download our designs for free and make it yourself. We designed this to be the most replicable, inexpensive drone of its kind. But even very clever drones can't make forests on their own. Remember the seed? It needs some help too. If we coat each seed with a special mix of nutrients, it protects the seed from wildlife, temperatures and dryness, dramatically improving seed establishment. Building on existing technologies, we have found ways to create thousands of seed balls in minutes. Now, we have developed a seed computer for analyzing what nutrients work better for each seed. With these three open source technologies, we can empower everyone with the knowledge and tools to start reforestation around the world, capturing carbon from the atmosphere right now. Hi, my name is Tristan from COACT. At COACT, we help projects like Drone Coria develop tools to fight climate change. Now Drone Coria need to raise 12,000 euros to finish developing and sharing these tools. Every euro beyond this amount will help Drone Coria reforest 30,000 trees here in Catalonia, Spain. If we pass this goal, we can scale the technology worldwide. Trees for Life is a not-for-profit organization. The drone seeding system would be a way to make our precious seed go further. Vemos que o Brasil tem imensas áreas e com esse drone queremos trabalhar a questão do reflorestamento. So if we could get a drone that will tremendously help us. Through illegal logging, many forests in Kenya have tremendously diminished. We wish to use this technology to empower communities to restore forests. Help us build a common public platform for reforestation technology by supporting Drone Korea today. Thank you.
This is the DJI Agris T20, which carries 20 liters of load and cover 12 hectares per hour efficiently. The four-channel independent flow control allows more even application, while the intelligent relief valves results in more convenient air removal. The omnidirectional digital radar provides 360 degrees 3D scene reconstruction, empowers the aircraft to avoid obstacles autonomously, even in poor visibility, guarantees safe operation both day and night. The new programmable controller is equipped with RTK module for centimeter level flight planning, Simply press one button to have the drone take off and perform its job autonomously. Equipped with a new spreading system, T20 can deliver uniform spreading of seeds, fertilizer, and other solid materials at a rate up to 10 kilograms per minute. The rating of IP67 makes the whole aircraft washable. The foldable design makes the T20 even more portable. By using the P4 multi-spectral to gather precise plant level data, T20 can apply the selectively spraying solution based on crop growth to save water and reducing the pesticide dosage. With the help of Phantom 4 RTK and DJI Terra, users can apply 3D flight path for more efficient planning. T20 is capable of flying precisely upon flight path on multiple application scenarios. To target fruit trees distributed on contour lines, users can choose free flight path to save battery power the continuous spraying function allows T20 to perform better on mountainous terrain, keeping flight safety and saving new effort. This is the powerful and precise Agris T20. Pushing the boundaries of crop spraying and bringing up more possibilities for the future of agriculture.